welcome welcome ladies and gentlemen this is the month of april april this is the month of april um 2000 and um i want to say um welcome please remember that these um are accumulation late um reading for the air signs let's see what is going to be happening and transpiring for the air signed people so um, remember in order to receive your extended of this reading you need to use the link to get to my website so ladies and gentlemen let's check in and see what is transpiring so for you guys we have passion we have the energy of passion coming up then we have passion with a past love whoever this past love is then we have the energy of a dating that is coming up for you guys then we have a love a triangle that is transpiring then we have some gossip um so a lot of you are dealing with other people and um speaking um about this these other people i see um the caucasian men short-term relationship that is going on and i see that they're in love a triangle okay so i see that this month in love is going to be affecting a lot of young people there's a lot of love triangle that is going on and it is the effect with um people so remember what is going to be happening and transpiring i am seeing the energy of uh, love is coming up there is a lot of situation that is transpiring so there is a lot of passion i see a lot of you young ladies are um basically um communicating um i see a lot of love triangles that is happening i see that um um the blonde people um the blonde men are going to be going out on dates i see a lot of gossip is over the blonde men short-term relationship with these blonde men and they are going on dates so however and whatever is happening and transpiring i see that this is coming up it is a period where there is past love that is going to be coming back in your lives so, but uh, these past love are going to be people who are coming back in order to clear whatever karmatic energies there are and whatever karmatic energy um there is going to be so be aware of this um ladies and gentlemen a lot of dating dating queens love triangle and that sort of a situation i see a lot of gossip that is going on i see short term i see you um caucasian men are going to be dating a lot all right so we're going in and we're first going to be looking at the energy of uh, um the the energy of uh, the aquarians so what we're seeing with the aquarians i see a lot of opportunity is beckoned for passion however this is transpiring aquarians there's a lot of passion there's a lot of people who are interested in having passionate relationship with you aquarians then i see the energy of blossom is happening and this is wonderful and transpiring I see a lot of passionate relationships are going to be bottom. I see gossip and I see trust, trust yourself and trust in the universe. Whatever is transpiring, I see a lot of gossip around you, Aquarians, where some of you could be telling people about the passionate relationship that you're having. So be aware of that. I see a lot of gossip. Believe that you will be successful with a past love that is coming back because you and this person was meant to be. So believe that you will have a success with this past love that is coming back. I see um balance is going to be coming in some of you are having these short-term relationship aquariums and i see balance is going to be coming in and this is going to be good so however the balance is going to be coming up it is basically i see you need to heal your solar plex chakras whatever is happening and transpiring you need to heal your solar plex chakras so however that is transpiring in your world you need to breathe some of you are dating and seeing other people um people from past life are coming in i see a lot of datings that is going on and you need to be breathing and to be passionate about this what is transpiring so a lot of love is coming in for you aquarians this is beautiful this is positive a lot of alignment of energies is coming in 
um, for you Aquarians which is very good um, you can see this happening I see um, new love is going to be coming up for you blonde men I see uh, you're going to be changing your focus about the people and situation and relationship around you so I see you blonde men need to um, change your focus um, I see you're changing your focus in order to reconnect with other people I see you're finding your way I see a challenging battle is coming up because some of you are going to be finding out that your partner or your relationship your partner is in a love triangle this person has been seeing someone else and you're going to be finding out if you're in a relationship with a Caucasian you could be finding out that this person has been two time in you for quite some time okay so whoever this person is I see the truth is going to be coming out about this person that they have been seeing someone else I see a lot of sadness battles and sadness I see a lot of sadness I see heartbreaks heartbreaks and sadness because some of you are going to be finding out that your partner if this is a Caucasian has been seeing someone else but I see that you're going to be just healing yourself and thinking happy redemption so whoever this person is and whatever this person was doing I see you're going to be just thinking happy redemption do it um let me get on with my life okay so I see whoever you who are, who is in a relationship you Caucasian men whatever is transpiring and whoever is in a relationship with a Caucasian man you're going to be seeing the truth about this person that there was someone else that you were caught up in a love triangle I see that you're just going to be seeking the truth because you're going to be going out there seeking the truth trying to find out what exactly was transpiring with this person and I see truths are going to be coming up about this person that this person has always been in a long um, a love triangle that there was someone else that this person was seeing so let's say that you're gonna be finding out because of this lockdown if you were in a relationship you're going to be finding out that there was a third party I see some of you are going to be heartbroken but it's as if some of you are going to be thinking you know it's good that I found out and I see you're going to be healing your heart chakra and you're going to be moving along whatever that has been transpiring I see that some of you are going to be dating however this is coming up I see datings are going to be coming in some of you are going to be dating whatever is transpiring Aquarians you're going to be successful you're going to be feeling good because I see that information is going to be coming out about your partner and you're going to be realizing that this person was not very honest in the beginning okay whoever this person is this person has been two time in you and some of you are going to be finding out this at the end of the month as we look at passion I see a lot of doors are going to be open I see some of you that are in passionate relationship however this is happening and transpire I see believe in yourself I see a lot of you are um, speaking about relationship I see some of you are trying to heal your solar chakra as to how this has been happening and this has been transpiring I see heart um, there is short terms and heartbreaks that is going to be coming up but you know life is full of surprises and um, if someone has been two time in you for a very long time this is when it is going to be coming out okay um, some of you felt as if something wasn't right and something was off about your relationship and you are going to be finding out that someone has not been very honest so I see love and passion I see that some of you are having a lot of passion with someone in a karmatic relationship however this is transpiring whoever you're having passion with it feels good um, it is good but this is a karmatic relationship so some of you could be having a karmatic relationship with a cancer um, some of you um, could be having this with a uh, um, a Gemini uh, no a Gemini or an Aquarian um, so be aware of this but I see some judgment call is going to be coming in and I see that some of you are going to be balancing out this relationship as we look at people speaking I see a lot of people are speaking and uh, communicating communicating um, comparing relationship I see a lot of you connecting with your girlfriends and telling them about things comparing and seeing the mirror side of relationship and this is really good because um 
it's positive when you can speak to a girlfriend and seeing the truth about a relationship and whatever is transpiring then I see the energy of heart um, past love is coming in but this past love heartbreaks is coming up so Aquarians be aware um, past love is coming in but heartbreaks is going to be there and um, these are marriages heartbreaks in marriages I see you have to find inner strength to deal with it some of you wants to balance out the situation but I see heartbreaks is coming up in marriages short-term relationship I see a lot of you are rethinking going back thinking on these short terms relationship and things that was happening and transpiring so this is definitely going to be coming up especially when it comes to short-term relationship and that sort of a thing so um you know you're going to be aware of what is transpiring around you i see the golden mirror is coming up and the golden mirror is that some of you who are dating seeing other people via internet and that sort of a thing some of you are going to be having some heartbreaks um and definitely some of you who were dating someone um you are going to be realizing that this person has been um double timing um you know double timing you for quite some time and this is going to be good um here we are seeing that um uh, the Caucasian, if you're in a relationship with a Caucasian young man, blue eyes is going to stab you in the back. So be aware of this. Whoever this person is, this person is going to stab you in your back. If you're in a marriage or a relationship with this person, this person is going to stab you in your back with a scorpion or with all because of money. And uh, this person, um, so if you... Are in a relationship with a Caucasian um, man blue eyes between the ages of 18 and 50 they're going to be stabbing you in the back so be aware of this person it is showing up now with the love triangle I see a light bulb moment because you're going to be finding out that this someone in your relationship people in relationship your double time because there is a third party there has always been a third party whoever and whatever is transpiring there is double time and there's always a third party that and you're going to be finding that out because i see seek the truth and the truth is going to be coming out because you're going to be finding out that this person has been double time in you some of you have been living being with someone and this person is wearing a double mask and you're going to be finding this out in the last week that this person whatever that was transpiring some of you are going to be finding out that your partner have a double mask this person um, did not love you this person was only in the relationship because of materialistic wealth and that they could basically get away with it because of whatever is transpiring so be aware of this okay because it's definitely going to be coming out you're going to be finding out this what has been happening and transpire that there has been always someone else this person is a runner so um this person don't do not want to um in a relationship with anyone is a runner every time that there is problem they run from their problems because there's always a third party out there so let's go in and see who are these people and how can you protect yourself from these people so we see karmatic relationship a lot of you are having karmatic relationship with an Aries and a Cancer whatever is transpiring I see the energy of an Aries and a Cancer um, that some of you are having karmatic relationship these are passionate relationship but they are karmatic relationship then I see the energy of the mirror I see Sagittarius and Cancer whatever the situation is is that some of you who are in relationship some of you are speaking to your girlfriend about these people these Sagittarians and the Cancer and you're seeing that they have opposite of attraction in relationship and this is good heartbreaks heartbreaks some of you are going to be heartbroken if you're in a past love relationship with a Gemini or a Libra some of you could be divorcing a Gemini or a Libra if you're married to a Gemini or a Libra I see heartbreaks is coming up I see you need to find inner strength to deal with whatever is transpiring 
then we see that some of you are thinking about the past the solar plex chakra it has to do with a pisces and a cancer so some of you who are in relationship with pisces and cancer i see you're going to end this relationship because you realize that this person is not who you thought they were you um if you were married or in a relationship with this person i see that this person stabbed you in your back this person um stab you in your back um and you're going to be just walking away from it okay so the love triangle has to do with uh, um some of you um this energy of the golden mirror some of you self-absorbed narcissists and that sort of a thing but i see you're going to be a meeting um a scorpion a taurus and a sagittarius a scorpion a taurus and a, a sagittarius a scorpion a taurus and a sagittarian i see you're going to be meeting that now i see that um a scorpion and a cancer have stabbed you in the back so if you're dealing with a caucasian and this person is a scorpion or a cancer i see them stabbing you in your back i see heartbreaks for you aquarians then we're moving forward and we're looking at the love triangles. I see truths are going to be coming out. Seek the truth. I see some of you are seeking the truth um, about your partner and a love triangle. And this is with um, a Sagittarius and a Taurus, a Sagittarius and a Taurus. So whatever is transpiring, you're going to be finding out if you are in a relationship with a Sagittarius and a um, Aries you're going to be finding out that either the Sagittarius has been seen the Aries or the Aries have seen the Sagittarius so truth is going to be coming out I see some of you are dating someone and you got to be careful this person is wearing a mask this person really doesn't care about you this person is just uh, um, uh, you know taking on and being inconvenient until they find someone else okay I see a lot of you women are going to be finding out that whoever you've been dating um if this person is um a capricorn or a aries that this person has a mask on and that they're not really interested in you so wow guys girl stalk i see talk with your girlfriend because they're going to be able to help you out of whatever is going on um for um you um um you aquarians just talk to your girlfriend they will be able to help you out all right so we're moving on and we're going to be looking at the um the um gemini's the gemini's gemini's what is going on in passion for you gemini's what is going on in passion for you gemini's so for you gemini's i see belief and success i see um the keys or the keys are on the ring many options are out there for you gemini's unconditional love um you know one night stand is also there for you gemini's so however this is happening and transpiring um gemini's i see that this could be something that could be happening for you gemini's okay so however this is transpiring i see gemini's um however the um one night stand and that sort of a thing i see um you're in some karmatic relationship you have a lot of people um that you hung out with i see some of you are going to um stop chasing whoever you were chasing and let it go you're no longer going to be chasing this person i see gemini you're trusting in the universe and you're like you know if it was meant to be it was meant to be if it was meant to be i'm letting it go and i think that you are right gemini's because this is just the right way to go because whatever that was transpiring you gemini's you need to heal yourself and understand that loving yourself is the only way to go about this okay i see belief and success and i see a lot of you gemini's are going to be um you know like talking to consultant and trying to figure out how to manage a situation i see you're calling you're texting you're trying to create um um situation and trying to clear up situation and i see that you gemini's are going to be very very successful doing that because you are realizing what has been happening and what has been transpiring so this is absolutely good for you gemini's because you're realizing that i'm balancing out whatever issues and relationship that was happening 
I see wedding bells is going to be coming up for you Gemini's only when um, I see only when you truly um, heal your solar plex chakra wedding bells are going to be coming up now I see this happening for the the um, the scorpion I see believe in yourself and know that um, you know if you want to get married it is going to be happening so for all you Gemini's that was open and wishing to get married it could be happening I see you need to um, take back your power and understand that when people takes your power they takes your energy and you can't you can't express yourself as how you need to express yourself okay I see that some of you breed, breed, just breed unconditioned love is coming to you, um, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. So Gemini's, some of you could be um, really falling in love. Um, this is with a, a Libran. So some of you a Gemini's could be falling in love with a, a Libran. Okay. I see a Libran is going to be coming in your world. This person you could end up marrying to. So this is good. I see this person, this Libran really loves and care about you. I see a breakup separation is going to be happening for some of you that is in a relationship with a scorpion. So whatever is transpiring, I see breakup and separation for some of you that is in a relationship with a scorpion. Whatever the issue and the situation is, I see a breakup and separation for you guys that is in a in a relationship with a scorpion so however this is transpiring then we are looking at battles yes i see a lot of you sabotaging relationship um rebuilding um instigating and resenting working on things where you're breaking down because there was some deceptiveness that has to do with uh, um someone you were dating or you find out that your partner was dating someone else there is a lot of battles that is going on and i see that you gemini's are going to be thinking hey i don't want to be a part of this and you're going to be really bringing an end to it and said let it go let it go let it be i don't want to be a part of this um i see soulmates are going to be coming in some of you gemini's are going to be finding out that a capricorn is your soulmate whoever you are However, this is transpiring. I see um, that this has to do um, with um, someone you have been dating. You are going to be finding out that this Capricorn is your soulmate. And this Capricorn can be your soulmate if you are on the cups of the Taurus. Uh, if you are on the cups of the Taurus, um, uh, the Taurus Gemini. Okay. They, this Capricorn can be your soulmate. And I see that. Um, some of you were dating um, a Capricorn. I see that um, this is a partnership and a good agreement and a soul contract that you have with this person because um, you're going to be realizing how much um, you are connected to this person. Then we are looking at seeking the truth. Seeking the truth. I see happiness expansion because you find out the truth that someone was deceiving you and I see you're very happy because you're like I had a feeling that something wasn't right you found out that this person wasn't who they said they were you find out the truth about this person because you went within and you seek the truth you found out and I see the information is coming in unexpected information for you Gemini's about a relationship that you were in truths are coming out about the deceptiveness of a, a partner that you were in in a relationship then we see the energy of uh, love triangles some of your dating people and you're going to be finding out that they are in love triangles so whoever are dating people you're going to be finding out that they're where some love triangle that was transpiring, I see you're going to be healing your heart chakra, and I see you're going to be uh, deciding to separate, separate from this person um, totally in order to regain your stability, okay? Because this person, whoever this person is, is not really honest, okay? This person has been wearing a mask for a very long time, I see this person is the master of illusion. So um, this person, number 15, is the energy of the devil, okay? And whenever someone carries a mask and the energy of the devil, I see you're going to step back, um, cut all connection, 
um, you know, cut the, the connection between your art string and all of that. And you're going to separate yourself from you and this person. And it has to do with someone that you have been dating. So however this is happening for you and however this is transpiring for you in your world, it is hard, but I see that you're going to just step back and realize that this person has been manipulating me for quite some time. And you're going to decide, Hey, toodaloo. I really don't need this in my life, you know, and um, it is a sense that you Gemini's are just going to be stepping back and um, letting go of this person because you realize that this person have controlled you um, in so many ways. So the key ring is here for you Gemini's and I see that some of you um, could be having passionate relationship with the Sagittarian, the Librans, and the Pisces. Okay, the Sagittarian, the Libran, and the Pisces. So there is three person on um three person. You're having an in connection and having um passionate relationship with three person. Um, they are um the Sagittarians, uh, uh the Librans, and the Pisces. Okay. Then we see chasing. I see you no longer wants to chase a Gemini or a Cancer. I see you're letting go. Um, whatever that was transpiring. I see you found out about a Gemini and a Cancer, and you're letting go and you're taking back your freedom. However, this is happening and transpiring. I see you're definitely taking back your freedom. You are no longer chasing after um a Virgo and a Cancer because you notice that these people or just um not um you know it's, it's you're like you know please um there is better so you kind of you had to realize that for yourself so gemini's i see you're talking to aquarians and aries i see an explosive i see you're talking to aquarians and aries this is good um this is going to turn out to be a very positive relationship so i see you're connecting with these people however it is coming up i see it is going to be turning out to a positive relationship then i see the energy of uh, um wedding bells um between the liberals and the virgo wedding bells is coming up between um for um, the liberals and the Virgo. So some of you could be getting married to a Virgo. Some of you could be getting married to a Libran. However, this is happening and transpiring. Then I see kisses have been uh, kisses. A Libran is a Libran is sending you a lot of kisses, um, and uh, um, a Libran is definitely sending you a lot of kisses. And a Cancer, a Libran and a Cancer is sending you a lot of kisses, and this is good. I see that this person, these people were meant to be in your life and it is going to be a good relationship. Um, then what we're seeing here is the energy of uh, um, sabotaging some of you or sabotaging a relationship um, with a um, someone you were dating that is an Aquarian, a Taurus or a, a Scorpion. You're kind of Sagittarius. You're sabotaging this relationship because you know that this person hasn't been honest. Whoever this person is, you're finding out that this person hasn't been honest and you're kind of sabotaging the relationship because you realize the deceptiveness that was at play with this person and you're finding out the truth of who this person is and what has transpired. I see the energy of uh, um, the axe. I see breakup and separation with a Taurus and a um, Leo. A Taurus and a Leo, there is a breakup and a separation. If you are in a relationship with a Taurus and a Leo, I see that this is going to be ending the breakup and the separation that is coming up for you and a Leo and a Taurus. So soulmate, I see the soulmates is coming in with the Capricorn. So this is what I was saying before. I saw that some of you are going to be finding out that a Capricorn or a Cancer is your soulmate. So maybe you have been seeing this person, dating this person, and some of you are going to be coming to the realization that a Capricorn or a, and a Cancer is soulmates, is your soulmates. And this can happen because of the cups. If you're a cups person, you can connect to this person. And I'm seeing this coming up for you guys. So, 
then um the last message is that i see separation is coming up sadness missing you uh thinking about you yawning for you unsure of the future i see it it has to do with an aquarian and a libran an aquarian and a libran so if you're in a relationship with an aquarian or a libran i see a separation a breakup that is going to be transpiring and happening these two people was not being very honest they were manipulating um certain situations around you and now i see that you gemini's have seen the truth about these people and i see that you are going to be deciding to just walk away from this relationship that it no longer serves you it is better to just walk away because it's not serving you anymore so gemini's it the, you know the message is clear i see a lot of you could be meeting and connecting with other people um in the, this i see friends and people and friends are going to be coming to uplift you um, because of whatever deceptiveness that has transpired. I see a lot of friends is going to be coming in and uplifting you out of whatever the deceptiveness that is happening and transpiring. So I love you, Geminis. Um, if you want to see the extended of this reading, please use the link below and check out what is going on. Namaste. All right, let's move on um, to the Libran. Librans, Librans, Librans. So I see you Librans blossom is here for you Librans and that means you're recording um some passionate moments that you have had with someone whoever um these people and situation is I see that you um Librans have been you know going over in your mind a relationship that you have been having and this is good because I see now you realize okay it didn't work out but I'm taking I'm taking the memories and I'm moving on. And this is good because you're just mirroring back a relationship that has ended and you are realizing, you know, I'm I'm really happy that this relationship has ended. However, this relationship it could have been with um um especially with the scorpion and the cancer. Um you're fantasizing over a relationship that you liberals have had with a um um, a scorpion and a cancer and however this is coming up and transpiring I see you're definitely fantasizing over this relationship and you're realizing you know it has ended but I had some good memories and you're accepting this and you're understanding that you know it's basically time to move on however this is transpiring I see some of you who have seen a mirror from yourself from a Sagittarius and a um, cancer that you realize uh, that uh, you know a Sagittarian and a cancer you could have been in a relationship and you found uh, but about these people however it is transpiring so let it go balance is going to be coming in because um, and not in there's not enough there's too much frustration in a relationship lack of confidence self sabotaging fears of ego and jealousy and i see you're going to be balanced this out and it has to do with people who are in relationship with capricorns and um tauruses i see that you're going to be balancing out this relationship because you realize that there is this you know there's not enough of love or not um you know connection in this relationship and i see you're definitely going to be balancing out this relationship because you're realizing you know i need to let this go whatever is happening whatever is transpiring i need to let go of this relationship or I am in this relationship because um, it's not working out anymore for me. And, you know, you guys are liberals and it has to do with a past love. It has to do with someone who is a past love that came into your life. However, this is transpiring. I see that you're going to be deciding that these are karmatic um, relationship. You're going to be cutting the cords and you're going to be accepting that there is uh, no longer any um, a possibility in order for you to move on you're going to be taking back your power whether it was a marriage whether it was just relationship i see that some of you who are um seeing a aries and a taurus i see some of you are going to be meeting an aries and a taurus and i see that um you know you both like each other someone likes you romance is being blossomed 
fun times and flirting whatever the dating is so this is good for you Librans. so some of you Librans are going to be meeting a taurus uh, um an aries and a taurus whatever is transpiring i see some of you meeting an aries and a taurus this is going to be a relationship that is going to be blossom if you're in a relationship with an aries or a taurus i see that this is going to be a very wonderful positive relationship and this is going to be good okay so this is a positive and this is a good okay so i see that some of you who were engaged is going to be heartbroken because you find um 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 engagement engage partnership commitment entire completely union a new beginning so some of you are going to be having a new beginning with a leo and some of you with a cancer some of you are heartbroken um with um a situation because you were engaged to either a leo and a, a cancer and you realize the deceptiveness that has played you realize how deceptive this is and this was i see heartbreaks is coming up heartbreaks because you found out that these people were double timing you and you found out exactly that was happening and exactly what was transpiring so i see engagement a new um engagement a new partnership is coming up for some of you and this is going to be good some of you were heartbroken because you found out that someone you were in a relationship with has been double timing you i see the truth that is coming out here the energy of the sun and the moon that is transpiring and is happening and is working out and i see truths about some deceptiveness that is transpiring in your relationship okay so i see you're going to be getting a new contract i see the energy of you seeking healthier relationship especially you women are going to be um seeking healthier relationship i see you with the, the energy of uh, this um capricorn some of you are going to be connecting you women are going to be connecting with capricorns taurus and aries people okay however this is transpired i see you're going to be meeting these people in new love i see you went out seeking for healthy relationships and you guys are going to be meeting the capricorn the um the the capricorn um the um taurus and the aries the capricorn the taurus and the aries i see that you are going to be meeting these people these people are going to definitely come in your life however way this is happening and transpiring i see that these people are going to be coming in your life and this is going to be wonderful because what is transpiring is that you librans are really seeing the truth of people's situation and relationship and what is happening and what is transpiring i see that you're going to be understanding what is going on around you and you're going to be finding out of the deceptiveness that has been transpiring and how deceiving people are and how deceptive people are and i see truths are going to be coming out you are going to be formulating your relationship and especially relationship with um capricorns um tor um virgos um and um aries is going to be very good however this is coming up and transpiring in your world i see that these people are going to be opening just a wonderful wonderful alliance of energies um that is going to be coming in in order to affect you in positive way i see a lot of you um liberals are going to see um you're dating someone and you're going to see the mask of this person and you're going to be like um i don't need to get myself involved anymore because i see the truth of this pe these people i see heartbreaks is coming up if you're in a relationship with a leo and a cancer i see heartbreaks is coming up for a leo and a cancer so if you were um if you were engaged to a leo and a cancer i see heartbreaks is coming up for a leo and a cancer because of some deceptiveness that you realize because it's as if you were you were engaged to these people and you find out that these people even though you were engaged they were seeing other people and you're like i don't really need this in my life i am going to be separating myself from this issue and from this situation and you're going to be standing back and and realizing that sometimes uh, um you need to let go of unhealthy issues okay because if you are engaged to someone and someone is yet still having connection with other people that means they are not ready in order to take that next step to be married to them so i see you liberals are going to be 
like alert and aware of whatever is happening and transpiring because you're realizing how this has been going on and that you 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 kind of figure out that something was a little bit off you liberals and then you finally realize that whoever you were um, engaged with i see the person at two at a mask up whatever that was transpiring whoever you were engaged to i see that the person had a mask up and i see now you're really seeing the truth of uh, exactly what has been transpiring okay i see um you know it's as if some of you realize that uh, um it doesn't really matter um your characteristics speak for you um it is um a matter of your characteristic you um words actions and words speak and this is uh, um what i see some of you i see some self self indulge indulgement that is going to be coming up and if you're in a relationship with um a gemini or you're in a relationship with a cancer i see they are more self indulgement and where they are more self indulge in themselves and not in the relationship so i see you liberals are going to be taking this time in this month in order to understand that there is just so much um issues and situations that is transpiring around you and how the deceptiveness of self indulgement that is transpiring and it has to do with people you're in relationship with and if you realize that you know step back because then the relationship is going to be half cast it's not going to be a full relationship that people are really understanding you and people are really coming towards you and open up to you it is all about themselves so you know when we're in a relationship we have to be understanding is that if you notice that someone is so self-indulge in a relationship um it is good but if they're only self-indulged in themselves let it go because this is it's all about them it's not all about um we it's all about uh, um i and this is what some of you liberals is going to be realizing that this person is so self-indulgent in themselves there is no we in a relationship but there is only you and them so you know i see you liberals are going to be like awakening to certain situation and certain issues that has been going on in your relationship and i see you're going to be choosing to basically step back um from certain people and certain things that you come up and you're going to be healing your own art chakra because some of you are going to be finding out some real deceptive situation that has been transpiring and i see you you're definitely going to be finding out um how deceptive uh, things has been happening and transpiring and the truth is going to be coming out and however the truth is coming out about your relationship is that you're going to be seeing the lies and the deceptiveness but you're going to see in the mask of someone who you have been dating and you're going to be letting this go so it is a lot liberals but hold tight you will be okay um and for the rest of the people who I haven't called who is in different sort of a relationship it's okay but especially for the people who are in relationship with the Gemini's and the Cancer, be aware of this because I see it is more of them being fully self sabotage in what is going on. I love you guys. Namaste. Till next time.